Houston, we have a problem. We have a growing demand for middle skilled jobs in the U.S. But companies can't find qualified talent. And that costs the U.S. $160 billion every year. No, that's not a typo. Middle skilled jobs require more than a high school diploma, but less than a four year degree. 40 years ago, middle skilled jobs were the minority. Today, they are a growing majority. Yet, companies are still demanding four-year degrees for jobs that don't require them. Automatically excluding 77% of African Americans and 84% of Latinos. Causing their talent pool to dry up. Companies are struggling to fill middle skill roles because their hiring practices are stuck in the past. And there's a communication breakdown between employers and educators. Schools teach one thing. Companies need another. Companies must evolve how they hire or risk falling behind. Year Up is the key to unlocking middle skill talent. Millions of low-income youth have untapped potential. Year Up gives them the opportunity to shine. Since 2000, we've trained and connected thousands of young adults to middle skill positions for hundreds of happy partners. Just ask these guys. Our training is driven by market demand and the needs of our partners. And now we're leveraging community college partnerships, which allows us to serve even more students and companies. It's a win-win. Companies receive a flexible, low-risk way to gain a competitive advantage. And low-income youth can launch professional careers and showcase their talent to your company. These young adults may have lost the zip code lottery, but they can be an important part of your winning team. Partner up to connect motivated young adults to middle skill positions in your company. Good morning, everyone. I'm Roosevelt Callahan, as, as you saw, and I am the site director for Europe's Bay Area, Europe Bay Area Silicon Valley sites down in San Jose and on the peninsula. I'm going to talk to you today about what we call the opportunity divide. I'm going to dig into that uh, in a bit, but I want to start off, by, start off with a quote from our founder, which I think describes this work. Talent is equally distributed, opportunity is not. So at Year Up, we talk about the opportunity divide a lot. And what we, when, we, when we talk about the opportunity divide, as you saw in the video, there are young adults who have the potential, who have the talent, who have the passion, but not necessarily traditional education skills, education and skills to get middle skilled jobs uh, at a lot of corporations and organizations across the country. Um, so I'm gonna dig into sort of what's happening nationally and what's happening locally here in San Mateo County. County. But, but first, I want to highlight one of our partners that we've been doing this work, that we've been doing this work with for over the past few years. So Facebook has been one of our premier partners since 2011. Um, they they did, did a bold thing seven years ago and partnered with Year Up, finding ways to bring in diverse talent to their organization that they might not have had otherwise. Over the last several years, Facebook has had a number of interns. They've hosted a number of interns, <clears throat> a lot of which have been converted onto full-time staff at Facebook, which is really exciting, because these are young adults that would not have had the ability to get entry-level jobs at Facebook otherwise. It's even exciting to know that a lot of our interns, or a lot of our alumni that are working at Facebook full-time right now have been promoted into roles that they're now managing new incoming interns which is really exciting to see that full circle happen. One of the other cool things at Facebook is that they have a very robust manager support system that comes in and their managers support our interns to make sure they have a, a well-rounded experience. One other thing that Facebook did recently that has helped sort of innovate the way that we work, Facebook helped us pilot a, a new training track called Data Analytics um, that's allowed us to meet market demand, providing the skills that companies are asking for now. 
I'm going to highlight a couple of young adults who have been working, who are working with Facebook right now, who come from these communities, who, like I said, would not have had the opportunity to do this work otherwise. So Jorge and Samantha came to Europe in July of last year, uh, looking for opportunities to grow, opportunities to learn. Samantha came to Europe wanting to learn communication skills, build her confidence. She's now interning at Facebook. Uh, she works on a team that leads their build-outs of all their conference rooms across Facebook's campus. In her role on a daily basis, Samantha is managing tasks. She's keeping her team on track. She's sending regular status updates and communications to her team, making sure that they have all the information they need to build out these conference rooms. It's been an honor to see Samantha blossom over the last six months or so working at Facebook. Jorge came to Europe with a wealth of sales experience. He's a car salesman. He wanted to learn and grow, be pushed in different ways. He's now working at Facebook as a help desk intern. He's able to apply his sales experience uh, in a customer service capacity, serving Facebook staff members, making sure that they have this, the tools and the skill and the resources they need and helping problem solve their issues. It's been an incredible honor to visit both Samantha and Jorge on site at Facebook and see them in action, see the work that they are doing, see the light that they bring, the passion that they bring to the organization every day, to meet with their teams, to hear all the overwhelmingly positive things that they're doing and how excited the teams are to have them on site. Samantha, both Samantha and Jorge will be graduating in July of this year, um, along with 200, more than 200 of their colleagues across the Bay Area who are all equipped with the grit, the skills, the internship experience, and ready to apply that to any organization or team across the Bay Area. So I also want to talk about our alumni. We have a number of alumni across the country right now, working in roles in all across sectors and industries, doing really cool things. And I'm going to highlight two that are still working at Facebook and who have continued to commit their talent, their passion, their energy to Facebook. So Esmeralda, came to Europe <clears throat> looking, thinking that Europe was a bridge to get her to the career that she wanted. She wasn't sure where to go. She wasn't sure how to navigate the system. Her goal was to become a project manager. And then to quote Esmeralda, if you keep your eye on the prize and if you keep your eye on the light at the end of the tunnel, you will achieve your goal. And Esmeralda achieved her dream, her dream of becoming a project manager at Facebook, which has not only had a life-changing impact on her, but it's also had a life-changing impact on her family. I'm going to share a little bit about Jay Hammonds as well. So Jay Hammonds has been working at Facebook for the last six years. He started at Facebook as an IT operations intern on their Instagram team. Jay has spent the last six years working his way through Facebook, and now <clears throat> handles technology management for Facebook's top executives, including Sheryl Sandberg and Mark Zuckerberg. Jay comes from a complicated past, but he was able to persevere through his challenges with hope um, and, and drive and determination. Jay has been featured in a number of news outlets and articles over the years. Jay was most, most recently featured as Forbes Enterprise Technology 30 under 30 in the last year, which was super exciting. These are just a few examples of the types of talent that are out there that might not have, have access otherwise. When you think about Jay, when you think about Esmeralda, when you think about Samantha, when you think about Jorge, these shouldn't be the, these shouldn't be the exceptions. These should be the norm. So when you think about your talent pipeline, when you think about, the, when you think about who's in your talent pipeline, we, want to, we, we hope that you're thinking about people who may come from a different background or have different education skills or not, not the skills that you're, you're used to because there, are, there is talent out there. As you saw in the video earlier, this is what we call the opportunity divide. There are a number of young adults that have untapped potential but don't have the access. There are a number of jobs that are out there that are requiring things like four-year degrees that they may not be qualified for. Year Up is committed to bridging the divide between these two, connecting young adults to the jobs that are out there. If you want to laser into San Mateo County, there are a number of young adults who are in this pool here in San Mateo County today who don't have the skills and the education, but have the talent. And I think the folks in this room have the ability to connect to these young adults in the way that we haven't in the past. So I'm going to close with a quote. And this is a quote from Cheryl Sandberg that I think speaks to the, the importance and the impact of this work. Um, 
So I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for your attention. And I hope that you all want to partner with Europe as we move forward in closing what we call the Opportunity Divide and moving the mission forward. Thank you.